Hey guys, it's Shayna, and today we are going to work on my holiday hair. Yes, ma'am, we are going to wash, cut, and slay this Irresistible Me full lace wig. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what she looks like directly out of the box. And to be quite honest, she looks like a wig. So we're gonna customize her, but before we do that, we are going to take a look on the inside, which you can see is a full lace cap, which means that you can part it anywhere and you will not be able to see track. So this step is completely optional. What I prefer doing is to widen the part just a little bit because I don't know about you but the parts on my head are visible and the parts in this wig are not so to help the wig lay a little bit better I'm going to snatch out yes I am going to be snatching out some hair around the parts and some hair around the edges girl we got to make this thing look a little more believable so that she will lay right let me go ahead and give you a few details. This is a 20 inch Indian Remy natural black, natural straight, 120% density, full lace, human hair wig. No, I am not the human that grew this hair. And before I wear any type of hair, I like to wash it. I'm going to be using the Irresistible Me Liquid Gold Shampoo and Conditioner, which you can get a 10% discount code off of. You can also get a 10% discount off of all of the Irresistible Me fe products featured in this video. So the link is in the description box. Go ahead and save your coin, girl. So we're going to start by soaking this unit for a little bit. And then I like to go ahead and add a generous amount of shampoo. What I really like about this unit is it is completely tangle free. You can see this thing is balled and jumbled up in that little wash pan and it did not tangle. I'm pretty generous with the shampoo and I'm going to show you in a few moments why you should wash any hair that you get before you actually wear it. As you can see, you know, there's a lot of stuff that comes in wigs, which is why it's always best to wash it before you actually try it on. I personally think that's just hair dye because I didn't see any like dirt particles floating around. Um, but it's just always a good idea to wash the hair before you actually wear it. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse India off and now we're going to apply a pretty generous amount of the conditioner and you can see I am running my hands through this unit and not once did it tangle. There was very little shedding and I think that was more so because I was pulling out the edges and making that part a little bit thicker. So this unit really does not shed. It's completely handmade and it is complete quality totally worth the investment so I'm gonna rinse the conditioner out and I'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit and right before it completely dries I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my head so I'm gonna snap the straps into place so that it will fit to my head and attach the combs it comes with three combs on the inside I'm going to attach the combs to my head so that I can blow dry it to make it look a little more fuller so the wig is not set on top of my head properly right now. It's really just sitting on top of my head so that I can blow dry it. I blow dry this hair on the lowest setting on the highest speed. I didn't use any heat. I found that it gives the hair a little bit more body when you do it this way. So once the hair is completely dry, I will go ahead and actually position it where I want it. I like for mine to sit right behind my baby hair just so it looks a little bit more like a sew-in instead of a wig. So I'm going to grab my concealer and I'm going to apply it to my part so that it covers up that little piece of lace that's sitting right in the front. Giving away all of my secrets, girl. Letting the whole world know that this is a wig. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so 
now I'm just gonna cut some really long layers into this hair. Like I said before, this is a 20 inch wig. Um, so I'm not cutting too much off. I'm just really lightly going over the some really thick strands. I'm just gonna put some longer layers up towards the front so that it frames my face better and it moves a whole lot better. Now, of course, we are going to hook up them edges, girl. Can't walk around with raggedy edges in Indian straight hair. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of curl in my hair. Um, I do have the Irresistible Me flat iron, which I love. And I also have the Irresistible Me 8-in-1 sapphire curling wand, which I really love. So I'm going to be using the curling wand this time just to put some really, really loose curls in my hair. And that helps to give it a little bit more body. So the curling wand is set at 190 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to wrap the hair around the wand. And I'm going to let it sit on there for about 10 seconds and then hold it in my hand until it cools and release it so it has these really kind of beachy kind of waves going on. And I only did three sections on each side because I wanted the curls to be really, really loose. So this is what it looks like when it's done. And this is the kind of comparison so you can see what it looks like with the slight curl and then what it looks like when there's no curl in it. I like the unit both ways. But since it's the holidays, we're going to go ahead and be a little bit more fancy and put curls all over. So I'm gonna repeat the process on the other side and I'm gonna add a little bit of Moroccan argan oil. And then I'm just going to take my the hair in between my fingers and just kind of twirl it around and pump it up so that it looks gorgeous, darling. All right guys, so that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know what you wanna see in the future. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And don't be stingy, share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.